so before we get started, I just wanted to make a quick acknowledgement uh, that we are on Treaty 6 territory, um, a traditional meeting grounds, gathering place, and a traveling route to the Cree, Soto, Blackfoot, uh, Métis, Dene, and Nakota Sioux people. Uh, we acknowledge all the many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit whose footsteps have marked these lands for centuries. So um, in these great lands, we are also lucky to uh, get together with um, some wonderful people representing uh, many different cultures. Um, we had our first session last week uh, with our guest chef uh, Tigist showcasing Eritrean and Ethiopian cuisine. Um, and I don't know, um, you know, I can't presume we're making the uh, news, but apparently today uh, during the daily uh, COVID update, um, uh, Chief Medical Officer Dina Hinshaw made a reference that people are finding interesting things online, like online virtual cooking classes. So I don't know whether she was referring to our classes, but um, our session last week went great. Uh, so hopefully I'm expecting a, a great session today as well. Um, our first event last week with Ethiopian Eritrean, uh, we kicked off our World Flavors event um, during Black History Month. And our first event, uh, you know, uh, fittingly was Eritrean uh, Ethiopian cuisine. And today, again, uh, we are featuring Vietnamese cuisine. And it so happens that tomorrow is um, Lunar New Year. Uh, so I practiced this a little bit. Uh, Nan uh, has to uh, tell me whether I'm pronouncing correctly, but I want to tell everybody, I think that's supposed to mean Happy Lunar New Year. Did you get it correct? So um, <laughs> I'm going to pass on so Nan can um, introduce herself and her um, other chef. But I also do want to mention everybody that's online uh, to make sure uh, that you can view um, the camera of our chefs. You can switch your views to the speaker view. So when Nan is explaining uh, the, the, the various dishes, you can focus on uh, her camera. And then uh, if possible, because we're gonna be a very large group, uh, use the chat area. If you have any questions to ask, comments, and, and just uh, uh, converse with uh, our fellow uh, food lovers, uh, use the chat area and I'll be monitoring that uh, as much as possible and try to moderate tonight's session. With that, I'm going to pass on the microphone. Farai, maybe you can say a few words first and then um, uh, Nan can introduce herself. Okay. Oh, wonderful. Oh. Okay, hi everyone. Uh, this is our second uh, one and Hi, uh, this is uh, Farai. Um, this is our second one and I just want to thank everybody who's tuned in right now. I'm doing this as safely as possible. We have uh, you know good numbers and I am, you know, I'm keeping everything safe as you can see. I have the proper PPE to make sure this is a safe event. So um, that's all I can say. I hope this is going to be a good one. Thank you. I think we lost him for a little bit there. Oh, Sim, she's, she's muting. Okay, so we can go ahead. You can introduce yourself. Uh, we'll start with you. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Yang Lu with the Vietnamese community now and in the home with the family uh, to celebrate the new year, Lunar New Year. Um, Today, it, uh, in Vietnam, it, uh, they celebrate uh, the New Year at uh, 10 a.m. already. But in here, we still wait until, uh, until 12 midnight. We go, um, the Vietnam go ahead one day. So uh, I feel proud to, uh, to share our culture to all of you. Um, uh, Doc? This, uh, the second generation will uh, share his, his um, 
feeling, understand about Vietnamese culture and her, his daughter, Navi, will, will speak in Vietnamese. So, go ahead. Hi everyone, uh, my name is Jack, like my mom said, and this is my daughter Nari, uh, she's 12 years old, and I'm just going to go over a few things that we do in our house uh, to celebrate the new Lunar New Year. Um, traditionally, there's a golden apricot blossom right here that's uh, associated with the Lunar New Year, and pretty much every household would have something like that displayed. Um, and it's a sense of good luck for the year and um, prosperity. The next thing is the platter of fruit, showing the different kinds of fruit representing different type of wishes that um, the family or individuals may have for the year. And then next we have the sticky rice cake and that is represents the togetherness of the family and all sorts like that. And it's commonly used for the Lunar New Year uh, all the time. Our last thing is the red envelopes that I'm sure everybody is uh, familiar with, um, considering for luckiness for the year. And it's often offered to younger people. So parents or grandparents would offer to the children or grandchildren or single individuals and considered it's called uh, lucky money. And pretty much with the new year celebration, it's pushing aside all the old stuff and welcoming, welcoming the new year with a fresh start and with good luck. So right now my daughter's gonna translate whatever I said in, into Vietnamese. Xin chào mọi người, thì hôm nay thì gia đình mình sẽ giới thiệu về những thứ mà mình cần cho Tết Đầu tiên chúng ta sẽ có hoa Hoa thì tượng trưng cho sự may mắn Mâm ngũ quả thì tượng trưng cho sự ước nguyện và ước nguyện thành công Bánh tét thì thì sẽ thì uh, thì sẽ là sự gắn kết yêu thương của gia đình còn cái cuối cùng đó chính là bao lì xì bao lì xì sẽ tượng trưng cho sự giàu sang sung sướng thì chúng ta sẽ uh, gia đình mình sẽ bắt đầu vào bếp và nấu ăn món đặc trưng đó chính là hộp dịch hộp 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 dịch kho và canh khổ qua nha chúc mọi người năm mới vui vẻ <cười> and prepare the braised pork with egg and uh, the bitter melon soup. Going to the kitchen. We are in the kitchen right now, so we have the uh, uh, pork belly and the marinade uh, ingredient is a uh, caramel, thick salt, uh, onion, garlic, and chili. If you like a little kick in that uh, um, dip pot, you add a little chili <laughs> in there. And uh, uh, the stock to, to cook with uh, pork belly, it, uh, we use the uh, coconut water and um, uh, fill with the uh, inside the pot and boil it and we add. So, uh, uh, Natalie will help me to marinate the meat. Okay. While I prepare, okay. First. Đầu tiên mình có nước màu Mình có nước mắm Và um, tỏi và hành với lại ớt
for life. Can you ask them uh, what they're using to marinate the pork? What are the sauces? Caramel, uh, I think, not mentioned caramel. And what's the other one? Soy sauce? What is that? Uh, the fish sauce, oh, caramel fish sauce. Fish sauce, and garlic. For the flavor, we put garlic, onion, and chili. If you like a, a, a little <laughs> kick in the uh, winter time, put the chili. You can chop it or you leave it whole um, for cooking. So we mix together. Uh -huh. Okay, great. So caramel and fish sauce. Um, is there like a specific brand you use, you prefer, or which stores do you find uh, those ingredients from? Uh, this is the brand, it left salt, uh, but if you can use the, the squid brand, it's more salty, no sodium, uh, glutamate, MSG, but this one has some MSG in there. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Uh, you can use the egg, cooked egg, uh, chicken egg, or quail egg, um, depend on uh, uh, how big you want. So, and the exciting is the coconut. Uh, I like to use the coconut just if you have big knife. We, okay, we mix this one together and we turn on. Okay, while make it faster, turn on the water. Uh, oh, another one. Uh, bring two. And we chop. <laughs> this one would take the chorus to, to, to cut it open. <laughs> if you can, uh, can uh, you don't want to go through this one, uh, you can marinate fix off with uh, a Coke. Uh, with <laughs> You can do that too. If you don't have coconut water. You can use the Coca-Cola? Coca-Cola or, or Pepsi. Okay. You can use this one and without you uh, without caramel. Mm -hmm. But the traditional we do caramel and sauce and uh, garlic, onion and chili. Chili is option. If you cook for the children, you don't have to put the chili. Mm -hmm. Or you want to get the flavor, you leave it whole um, uh, chili. So it's uh, the option if you don't <laughs> go to, if you don't have the uh, coconut, it's hard to chop this <laughs> one. And uh, this pork, uh, this, this is so expensive. If you buy uh, coconut water, it costs $4 for <laughs> one coconut. So it's, it's more about three coconuts. So it costs uh, more than the meat. Mm -hmm. okay. The coconut in here. So we will just marinate it, then we wait for the water to avoid and just add the meat in. If you don't like too much fat in the in the meat, you can buy uh, pork shin uh, or clean uh, pork it, uh, shoulder. Uh, so it uh, it's okay too. But in the year, we need more energy. That's why you, you, we use the, the um, uh, pork belly. It's more fat, more energy. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, have, uh, you don't have to eat often. So you have time to play or go out to wish the uh, uh, best wish for people, for the parent, uh, grandparent. So you get lucky money. Mm -hmm. And you have lucky money, you can uh, go out to uh get uh enjoy the entertainment okay uh while we wait for uh, for the water before i will uh prepare um okay okay yeah put this one away just 
cover so it can boil faster. Mm -hmm. I will prepare the, the bitter melon. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, this this um, bitter melon so soup, uh, we have the, I hollow this one, take the inside out. So we have to wrap off, uh, marinate with a little fig salt. And to decorate this, uh, because it's uh, too much, if you like meat, uh, you could all stop all the meat in. But uh, if you want in the new year, we try to, um, to make it look nicer, so we put meat inside and they put carrot at the center. So when you cut it, it looks like a flower. Mm -hmm. And the, the onion just dry. Uh, you put after you cook. Uh, okay. Có cái này nè. Cho cho cái thịt vô trước. No, uh, is that just fresh carrots or is it pickled or anything? Uh, is the carrot prepared in any special way? Okay. The carrot, it, uh, you, don't, uh, you don't have to put it in. Uh, let me make the easy way. I will make the, the difficult one. <laughs> no, but is the, is the uh, carrot just a fresh? Uh, uh, raw car carrot, uncooked, or is it pickled or anything like that? Uh, just like the fresh carrot, or you can fresh cook it if you uh, want to cook it faster. Uh, you can cook it. This one, uh, okay. and you put the meat like this, and uh -huh. then put the carrot at the center, and few more. Okay. Uh, more meat to cut. Uh, to fill it up, Cover. yeah. So when you uh, after you cook and you cut in a piece, and just like a flower. You don't want to try do did the, you, did the, you do the, anything did you buy a big did you do anything special to the uh, bitter melon to uh, get the bitterness out or you just carved it uh, didn't need to do anything no the peeling fresh, the fresh uh, we cut and uh, we just uh, take out the outside the seed in outside so um, we don't eat inside it's so bitter more bitter uh, when we leave, or we leave the, uh, the 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 inside. Okay. The water it uh, uh, and the coconut water is boiling now, so uh, you can add. Uh, okay. Add the meat in and bring to the boil until and then cover it. Uh, simmer for 45 minutes or one hour dep depend on how tender you want but usually about half an hour is good enough 
The chili made me cough. <laughs> Up into the boy and then cover it. Which is affected with the chilies? Yeah. Yeah, so the, the heat with the chili comes mm -hmm. out and then uh, you breathe it in again. Mm -hmm. Okay, we need to boil and the meat cook a little bit. And this can see it's cooking now. Uh, the, the egg will ask later when uh, the meat cook uh, halfway. So. Because the cooked egg already cooked, so. Yeah. Uh, I will put the, the uh, quail egg later. Mm -hmm. hey, sounds good. So far, it looks easy. I think I may be able to do this on my own. <laughs> yeah. uh, when it uh, it boil and the meat it cook uh, about five minutes and we low the heat and cover it. Okay, we cover it and. That one. Okay, oh, sorry. <laughs> I want to change the, the, the plate. The plate, so it's easy for you to. Um, is bitter bitter melon available in uh, all the stores, or do you need to buy them in specialty stores? I think uh, uh, most are all in the uh, um, Asian grocery store. And also, African also have that one. Indian grocery store also carry the, oh, even uh, superstore. I think right now in the market, uh, Walmart, um, superstore, and many uh, ASEAN or uh, uh, ooh, uh, Korean, also Korean, African, um, no. Uh, Indian in in Millwood also carry a lot of uh, uh, vitamin. Some a small size, uh, but uh, uh, you can cook with our stuffing. But uh, there's the big one. We would like to have a stuffing in there, so we choose the big, uh, larger one. So easy to stuff. So you can cut into small pieces and you fry with egg. Very tasty with egg and thick salt and onion garlic that simple one I've been, I've been seeing them in superstore actually i just didn't know how to, how to cook them so i will have to try the bitter bitter melon uh if you you don't uh, you cook in the water or soup it uh it's simple like that if you uh the bitterness it uh you want to reduce the bitterness you cook ahead you drain the water out so it doesn't but uh, most of the time we live with the uh, by two and traditional vietnamese and chinese they said you bitter melon to reduce tea uh, they can make tea too or make soup and drink it we do it the high blood pressure or um, uh, uh, cholesterol uh, now i have one more question from our uh, viewers so remember you said if you, they don't have coconut water instead of caramel, they can use Coke? Yeah, uh, you Coke or Pepsi. Coke or Pepsi. But do you do you pour the whole thing uh, in the pot and the Coke boils with it too? Yes, uh, usually if I cook two pounds of uh, uh, pork or meat, 
I put one can and I ask extra water. Okay, so extra water, I see. Uh, you don't need to add caramel because it's brown. Okay, sure. Or uh, you can cook uh, with our fish sauce, with the soya sauce, uh, and add water in. So it's I the see. same. We wait for boil water and add the. And the leftover meat and uh, make it into the small pieces and cook with that. You can uh, use the chicken stock or beef stock uh, to cook with bitter melon, but this one, the meat already marinated uh, with the fig sauce. I don't use the MSG, I just use the fig sauce. This one have a little MSG in there. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, maybe you change the pot. <laughs> Bigger pot. This one, all oh, decoration and the color you want to put it in. <laughs> then it's over. Okay. Add in there. This one, the water lowers <laughs> in the big pot. So when it boils, we just cover, cover to simmer. And the onion will add later when it's ready to sell. And this one, the, we usually eat this one with the uh, rice. We have every, I think right now everybody has the rice cooker. It is easy to cook. Okay, okay, now uh, one, uh, a couple more questions, clarification. So going back to the bitter melon, uh, all you had to do was just carve the seeds uh, outside. The outside of the melons, you didn't need to peel them, just wash, wash, and it's cooked as it is, right? No need to peel, peel the skin? No, you don't need to peel because it's uh, uh, just like, uh, you eat like, uh, like um, uh, cucumber. Uh -huh. Uh, tomato, you uh, scoop at the inside, to, you peel with another ingredient. Okay, uh, and, and it and it uh, apparently cooks very easily, so it doesn't need to be pre-cooked, it's just fresh, stuffed uh, with the meat, and then it's boiling in the water. Yes, the perfect. Yeah, the that water. looks quite easy to make, actually, yeah. I so, what, so basically, all your flavors is going to come out of the bitter melon while it's simmering. So once it's on the boil, I'm going to turn down the temperature a little bit and just let it simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how, the, how tender you want the bitter melon to be. And then the flavor from the, the pork will sweeten up the broth and then the flavor from the bitter, bitter melon will come out. And then when it's ready, when you when it's ready for you, you can add extra fish sauce, depending if you want it a little saltier or some sugar, just to sweeten it up, whatever, however you'd like. So we're just gonna let it here, cover it up and let it cook. But yeah. Perfect. So rather than, rather than using salt and spices, it's essentially through the fish sauce. The saltiness comes if you want to add some more salt, it's the fish sauce we can add. And then yes. if you want a little bit sweetness, you can add uh, some sugar, you said? Yes, yeah. Perfect. But if, if you're using the coconut uh, water already, um, 
you're gonna get the sweetness from that. So you just get when it, when you're ready to eat it, just pretty much taste the broth and to see if that's the the taste that you want to have. It's if you want it sweet or saltier, you can uh, make that decision on your own. And you're saying the trick uh, because uh, the the flavor is coming from the bitter melon. Now it needs to simmer uh, on in low heat for 30 minutes, 40 minutes for the flavor to come into the broth, hey? Yes, yeah. Just Perfect. Well, yeah, on, on medium heat and just so uh, all the flavor comes out of the, the bitter melon and comes out of the pork. While we wait for, for the, uh, the, the food ready, so this one usually we accompany uh, with the, with the, you know, the the salad we call some we use the pickle uh, this is the Vietnamese pickle lake and okay I will use the chopstick to show you uh, this is pickle um, lake it's a uh, sale in the market yeah they already make and usually they put a couple of chili in there for flavor. And this one, the uh, green mustard pickle, it's uh, in the packet already made just like this. That's very salty and sour, like uh, you have the sour cabbage. This one is sour uh, uh, mustard, the green mustard. When you buy it, you bring home and cut and wash it or soak in the water for about 15 minutes and drain it out. So it reduces the, uh, the saltiness or sour. It, so this one in the, in the rosary they have. Okay. Uh, uh, you can add just like uh, lake, uh, lake chai, the Chinese chai. Uh, this one we cut a piece and this one, the carrot and cucumber, the fresh and the pickle mixed together. Uh, and we eat with the, uh, um, the pork. Okay. While we wait for it cook, uh, the food is cooked. So we introduce to you uh, this one, the rice stick. It's uh, the traditional, we make this one uh, uh, ahead of a week so we can, uh, in the tropical in the Vietnam, we usually we pair in the two, two of them and hang outside. So people can, just like in the family, when they're hungry, they can cut it another style. Uh, another style, it's uh, the triangle, it's covered with uh, cover with uh, bamboo leaf and this one just like dessert uh, the filling inside it's a uh, sticky rice and the banana so non are these uh, sold in the stores like this too i i uh, did a little bit research yesterday these are these actually do take quite a while to make right yes Uh, but you can buy uh, them at the store. You have to cook at least four hours or overnight. So, so the meat inside the beef. Four hours or overnight. Yeah. Uh, the, um, usually in uh, back home, all Vietnamese family, they make but their own and the people cannot make it. So they will buy in the market. But in Canada, in Edmonton, uh, we can. We don't have time to uh, to cook, and also we ha don't have the big pot to cook uh, at least four hours. So we order from the people who have a big pot, and they uh, every time they cook about um, about twenty or forty uh, uh, loaves of like that. So we order most of the time right now. It uh, we order people to do it. <laughs> So uh, our family, we, we buy about 10 of them. And this one, the, the triangle one, you can eat uh, in the uh, morning like a breakfast. 
this one it's sweet you can add sugar if the not sweet enough uh you can okay. This one in half. You can see the, the banana. So you can, uh, if you like sweet, you can add a little sugar on it. This one, one, and another one. Uh, this one with meat. You can eat like lunch or snack. This one, you see, it. <laughs> They have to spin to to secure it. It won't leak up outside the the right. So and the triangle one. What did it what did it have in the middle? Uh, banana. Banana. Okay. Banana. It's a uh, uh, white or a little yellowish, but when you cook uh, um, inside corn without air, it will the sugar will turn on uh, bright uh, pink red. But uh, if you leave in the air uh, for a long time, it will turn a little darker color. So um, are these uh, staples? Do you eat them throughout the year, or is it special for uh, Lunar New Year? Uh, traditional long time when uh, my uh, in my generation we only eat uh, um, for us uh, the event any event um, uh, uh, especially in uh, in New Year so that's like uh, a staple for people who uh, want to have a long trip or easy to doesn't have time to cook anything, so they uh, they eat this uh, right cake. And this one is covered with uh, banana leaf, many layers. You can eat uh, at the room temperature. Or uh, if you like uh, to have a little um, warmer, uh, you can heat in the microwave or you can pan fry. So have a little crunchy outside. So don't, you don't feel bored about uh, to the same taste or same picture all the time. This one, you can see that. And okay, the way we don't want to cut with the knife because it's so sticky. So that's one, we put the string, we use the string to cut it. <laughs> And uh, okay, because by your, uh, if you do it by yourself, you have to buy one side <laughs> of the string. There. <laughs> because uh, we usually, we use the small, uh, the, the sewing string thread. But uh, so it cut for sharp the uh, by, by itself. So when you cut this way, it tell you this one not uh, just cook only less than three hour or four hour. If you cook overnight, it the meat the meat very tender. You can cut through it uh, sharply, not uh, the meat come out. So this one. Also the pork inside the mung bean and the uh, sticky, sticky rice. <laughs> if you like in Vietnam, it's the fancy one. They don't use the mature leaf, banana leaf. They use the core, the, the young, very young 
banana leaf at the central and wrap around. And after you cook it, you can eat the 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 ban young banana leaf in that. This one, the mature, it's so chewy. You, you don't want to eat. <laughs> With the young banana leaf inside, you cook it so it won't stick. Uh, it tender, but won't stick in your hand and won't stick. It's easy to move. And this one, if you cut it out, it will like okay. Or you can uh, soak it in water and cut it with the knife. So no, the the one with the meat version in it is it still considered a dessert or when would you eat this uh, breakfast, lunch, or? You, with the meat, you can eat at the breakfast or lunch or dinner when you uh, you hungry. No food around, so it's uh, the new for the new year. Usually we don't have the the parent doesn't have time to cook, so the children when they hungry they can uh, get the one of this or uh, usually they the the parent cut a piece of ready so at the table they can pick up to eat or uh, the older kids they can fry pan fries uh, it to have a crunchy texture outside so like this you have any question or <laughs> I mean I have a lot of story about <laughs> about cooking in New Year. Um, usually we we have to find um, pen course in the New Year. Uh, but uh, in in here in Canada, uh, especially in this uh, season, it's cold and the uh, COVID, nobody <laughs> come around, just only uh, family members, so we don't do uh, many dishes, only the basic thing we uh, we do. And so I think these ones that you're showcasing tonight, they are traditional for the uh, New Year, right? Pork belly as well, and then the the uh, bitter melon soup. Are those the traditional dishes for the New Year? I uh, guess because uh, um, uh, if you. Uh, in the new year, we have a lot of rich food, high of energy, and to, uh, uh, to try to reduce the, the fat intake or the, the rich food, uh, like um, more sugar, more lipid in like uh, sugar cane, um, like honey, like coconut uh, candy. Um, we eat a lot of uh, sweet and fat, so bitter melon, it to help us to digest our rich food and uh, give you more appetite to eat another thing. So I think the, the meat already there, so rice, salad, and sticky rice. So meat is already cooked, uh, the one uh, that you were making, the pork belly? Yeah, pork belly. You can make from uh, pork shoulder. The shoulder too, yes, yeah. okay. So, and then uh, you added, I see that you added the eggs in them too, hey? In the, uh, uh, but probably what, last five minutes or something when it's cooking? Uh, say it. Okay. Yes, the, the eggs are hard boiled ahead of time and uh -huh. you just add them in uh, whenever you like. Uh, the lo longer you add it in the broth, the um, more you'll absor absorb of the, the sauce. So then it mm -hmm. won't be um, as bland as a uh, regular egg, it'll be a little bit salty. So depending on how much uh, you want it to absorb the, the sauce. But yeah, if, like, if you just want to have it in there, you can have it for a period of time. Perfect, yeah. And it's just plain rice, hey? Eh? Uh, just cooked in the rice cooker. Yes. And then you can also make it you feel inclined. You can have any type of rice you'd like, or you can mix some uh, coconut water to make coconut rice. Okay. Now, is there a specific type of rice that you use uh, uh, in Vietnamese rice? Uh, I mean, Vietnamese cuisine? Uh, 
Uh, jasmine rice is usually uh, used for the most jasmine part. Jasmine rice, okay. Yeah. And the uh, the sticky rice cake again. Asian stores would uh, have them carry them. Uh, they can be purchased year around. Uh, unfortunately, not. Um, oh. They they'll mostly come out for special occasions. So uh -huh. New Year's, the, the Spring Festival, Autumn Festival, and all that kind of stuff. Um, they'll have them frozen, unfortunately, uh, year-round at the Asian markets, like Lucky 97 and um, Superstore 99, mm -hmm. kind of town there. But you, um, there are people that you can reach out to that will um, make them ahead of time for you. So you can order a few uh, at a time and then they'll make it for you. Uh -huh. uh, but my mom has some contacts with that if, if you're there. Sure, if anybody's interested, exactly. Yeah, we have some foods like that too. I'm Turkish originally. So some things you don't bother making at home. It takes too much time. So you yeah. order them, yes. Yeah. So right now we're just waiting for the bitter melon soup. Um, finish up here. Why well, these uh, these guys? I mean, uh, you, you guys did this pretty quickly. I thought uh, the menu was so rich; it was going to take a long time. Uh, but uh, the pork belly, braised pork belly, it cooks pretty fast. Uh, yeah, it, uh, well, we cooked it ahead of time. Just so we, I didn't realize how quick it would be, but uh, we just wanted to make sure we had a sample. Um, but showing you the process of doing it, and there's one, and then the finished product. So we made a batch ahead of time. But also the, the bitter melon, instead of um, using pork, you have the option to use other, other, other things like uh, seafood, seafood paste, uh, if you like seafood, or if you like, uh, if you don't eat pork, you can have uh, ground turkey, ground chicken. Uh, ground beef, whichever you like, really. Um, traditionally, for Vietnamese culture, it is pork uh, that's mostly used. Uh, and in that stuffing for the bitter melon, it's just marinated ground pork. That's that's all it is, right? No onions, no nothing. Uh, what we've done, yes, uh, but you can add the grass. You can add extra garlic for seasoning. Um, you can also add uh, wood ear mushrooms. Uh -huh. uh, that, are, that are also traditionally used, and also um, the glass fine vermicelli. I see. Uh, that you can soak and then cut up coarsely, and then mix it with the pork, and then that gives it a little more texture than just just all meat inside. So my mom's just got a, one sample here that she's gonna cut open to show. Oh, tell me. <laughs> that one is the meat one. <laughs> the carrots are not in that, huh? The carrot. Oh, right here. Oh, there is carrot, yes. Perfect. When you serve, we cut the, a piece like that. So. Okay, if you can serve a one person uh, with one or two pieces of uh, bitter milk. Okay, it, it's ready for you. You can put it in, uh, or you can. Uh, somebody, uh, someone is just like to have a soup and cut, put in a piece, and then put a little uh, rice in there, and ready to eat. 
So to the bitter melon uh, broth, you added just some fresh green onions, right? Green onion or cilantro. Cilantro or green onions, okay. Perfect, looks great. Looks great. Okay. Okay. I will ask our guests if anybody has uh, any questions and I will pass those on to you. Uh, you want to try? <laughs> okay, let's run with the rice. Uh, oh, this, okay. Uh, now people are saying just like uh, I thought that uh, it looks lovely, very delicious, and and uh, to be honest, literally this doesn't look very overwhelming. I will definitely give this a try uh, at home. Uh, it's it doesn't look too hard, and it looks absolutely de delicious. And that's what Carrie, one of our viewers, uh, has written for everyone. That looks great. Uh, but uh, as you're getting ready to eat those, tell us uh, since we've done the cooking. Tell us a little bit about your um, Lunar New Year traditions. So, you know, other than the food, what else uh, do you do at home? Are there games you play or certain traditions uh, that the families follow? How do you get dressed that day? Tell us a little bit about how you celebrate Lunar New Year. Yeah, okay, you do. Just like in here, uh, we will do just like, uh, uh, we just sit down, uh, uh, with the ten course on the uh, at the table, and we serve like individual. You can do that. Um, have the green chai, uh, red, uh, carrot, and chili if you like, and lick, pickle lick. Couple pieces depend. It's uh, just like buffet. You can <laughs> uh, chew how many pieces of. Uh... Mm -hmm. And lake. And you season with uh, a little. Uh, this the salt from the the pork on the rice, okay. Uh, and the soup for you. And the spoon looks delicious, absolutely delicious. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and the spoon that for individual, and this one will be. You can have this one uh, with tea if you want to, just like four meal like that, or uh, this uh, rice, uh, uh, sticky rice uh, cake, uh, also with the meat and uh, instead of rice, you can do that too. So you said uh, for drink, uh, you can have tea uh, with dinner. What do you drink normally on, uh, you know, uh, Lunar New Year? Uh, because in Vietnam, we have a lot of uh, jasmine flowers, so um, uh, we can have a jasmine tea. And some, uh, some uh, family, they have the, uh, the garden, they can grow their jasmine flower and they uh, put uh, uh, together with the, the green tea, the, the, uh, the tea, the regular one, usually at um, my grandparents' house, uh, they grow the, the tea, the, uh, the tree, the tea plant around the front, uh, the front yeah, inside to the, uh, the house. So just like a fence, the light um, fence uh, in front of the house. You, in the morning, uh, uh, when my grandfather want to uh, have tea, the green tea, uh, we are uh, in the season, the, um, they, they can make uh, black tea too. 
And, and I, I remember when I was young, uh, we have a pond of, uh, um, big pond of uh, um, lotus, uh, lotus pond. We use just one, my grand, I remember just like my grand uh, father, friend and him, just like they are poet. So every, um, um, I don't know, I don't remember the dong, they, they have to put a small boat. They uh, sit in there to drink tea and also take the tea leaf, the, the, uh, the black tea leaf, they, they preserve that and they put inside, go to the unopened flower and they open it and they put the, the tea leaf in there and it covered so until the next couple of day or next day depend on the flower they put. So next day or couple of day uh, when it start to open and they collect fast one. And it's a very fancy one. Um, they collect fast one and also the way they serve tea is very, very elegant. It takes time, this is like a couple hours to prepare the tea. They have to heat it up, the small plate, a small cup, and uh, with the little, a little uh, burner, uh, it makes from clay. I used to have at, uh, at my restaurant, just mm -hmm. like so they put a little charcoal, hot charcoal in there, warm it up in water. Mm -hmm. So the weather is cold and, and uh, uh, in uh, general, in uh, December, it goes from December and in the South Vietnam, it, we don't have four season only, but in the, um, the New Year season, it's a little colder. We wear just like a light sweater, but uh, so they drink, uh, they drink tea, it does it, it uh, warm them up, warm the area, they sit and they talk about poetry, uh, um, uh, sing, or uh, not, not sing, but uh, uh, just like home talking, just like yeah. uh, for the senior. So yeah. the tea, they drink very strong, but I don't know. I try it, but, but in in the small cup, but, um, but uh, very dark and uh, it bitter taste, but. Uh, um, they not allow to, to, to the children to drink that, but, but uh, um, I, I was close to my grandparents, so he let me sip a little. It bit the tank, but uh, after it come to your throat, it turned a little sweetness in there. I see. But, uh, it just like you taste a, a bit, but not uh, the whole cup. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So uh, yeah, the tea is one of the traditions. What else? Uh, so what does a traditional, I mean, a family do traditionally on the Lunar New Year? Is that a one, one day celebration? Is it a week long celebration? How do you celebrate the Lunar New Year? In my generation, uh, just like uh, one month ahead, uh, they, the family have to, to clean up uh, the, uh, the whole house and try to decorate, um, just like move the stuff they, they don't use, wash the floor and uh, pan the, around the house. So um, just like the, if they have a yard, backyard or front yard, they have to shake it up to uh, make it nicer. And the, at the, the altar, we have some, uh, uh, some decoration uh, from, uh, I, I don't know how to call it. Um, you have to polish because it make up from copper. Uh, so you have to put the shy. Uh, uh -huh. so that's one for men uh, to do it, a young man or the head of the house or the, the, the youth, uh, the male uh, youth to do that and the woman and the young children, uh, young lady to prepare uh, something for cooking, just like collect the banana leaf, uh, collect the, uh, 
uh, sticky rice. Um, all the in ingredients, maybe two weeks later. Mm -hmm. So they ready for to cook the rice cake or make some uh, uh, rice paper to do the wrapping uh, with the salad, with the meat they, they have at the table. So uh, do you want some more? Traditionally, Lunar New Year's lasts about 15 days. And it starts uh, on New Year's Eve uh, for the New Year and extends for another 14 days. Um, so in Asian culture, usually a lot of people that are working in the city will go back home to their hometowns in the country for those two weeks uh, and basically spend time with family and friends that they've lived with and grown up with. So basically the city shuts down a lot of all the workers go back home to celebrate with their families. Um, during that time, there's a lot of eating. You're going to your friends' places. Friends are coming over to your place. And it's a lot of eating, a lot of celebrating. Um, and over there, I've learned since being in Canada, they like their karaoke over there. So um, there's a lot of singing, that kind of stuff, a lot of drinking. Um, but that's just like any culture celebrating a new year or so forth. Um, you know, letting go of everything in the past, wishing for a prosperous, um, sorry, a prosperous new year uh, with good luck and uh, good fortune for everyone. So uh, that's great. Uh, living in North America, we can't really take. Uh, two weeks off from work to celebrate the lunar new year uh, that's true we, we can only do that on the weekend and thankfully this year it's it's a long weekend so we get three days of it we can celebrate uh, unless we take time off of work but for the most part um, yeah we celebrate for 15 days of, of the lunar new year that's wonderful so are there specific things that you do in those 15 days or things that you're not supposed to do um <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of things of the that I've experienced when when back in Vietnam, where it's just a lot of drinking, a lot of spending quality time with uh, your loved ones, your friends, um, and the eating and drinking can start from the morning till the next day and continue. It's like a open house. You'd say um, this continues. So let's say somebody's hosting for one day. And so you have all your friends and relatives and all, all, all kind of stuff just come talk about, you know, new times. And then the next day you'd be going over to some, you, the same person that came to your house. And that just continues, especially in the small town atmosphere, because everybody knows everybody that's grown up there over the years and over, yeah, centuries perhaps, because everything's handed down to the generations. So there's a lot of talk about, you know, like a family that, that have moved away and, you know, what they're doing and so forth. And just lots of catching up between uh, relatives, friends. Um, what I've experienced was a lot of drinking. So from morning till evening <laughs> you, you, and then take a break and you continue. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it's just the, the most thing that it is, is just spending time with people and um, there's dances and all that kind of stuff, performances um, that are that are happening. There's uh, events for kids so they can, you know, participate uh, at a young age where are doing um, dances and, and singing. Um, so there's also festivals that are set up in, in Vietnam when that when I was there. Um, there are here also, but not as uh, not as such a big production, but unfortunately this year, um, a lot of celebrations are you know, restricted and everything's online or- um, Of course. And you just have to wait and let's top it out for everyone. So. So um, I want because uh, you know the, the, we're supposed to go on almost for two hours. So I, I uh, I'm improvising with questions. But tell me tell me a little bit also going back to the cuisine. So um, I've seen tonight, for instance, so fish sauce clearly is a staple. You use it a lot for marinating the meat, etc. 
Um, I see that pork uh, is the uh, is that primary the primary meat you use a lot. If you can tell me a little bit about general, uh, what are the staples of Vietnamese cuisine? Yeah, uh, salt isn't really used a lot in in, in Vietnam. Um, it's mostly fish sauce and. Um, a lot because Vietnam is really close to the right by the ocean there and you get a lot of fresh seafood and they just dry the fish that they use and use that saltiness from uh, fermenting it and, and instead of using salt so it's 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 you get that uh, if, you, if you've ever smelt it it's it's pretty it can get it's very pungent if you're not used to it and, and, and a lot of people, my friends in the past that, that have come over to my house when they were younger, like, oh, what's that smell? It's like, it smells bad, but, you know, it's, it's just something they're not, not accustomed to. Uh, but yeah, it, it's used for flavoring and to give it a little kick. Um, and it's also used for a lot of dipping sauces. Um, so if, you, if you've been to uh, restaurants here, uh, a lot of fish sauce is used with uh, salad rolls or uh, spring rolls or um, any type of dish that's pretty much um, maybe bland. They use fish sauce for it. Um, as for the pork, uh, it's, it's, it's used predominantly more than beef. Um, the beef in Vietnam is not like the beef in North America. Um, they're more of uh, more oxen type, so pretty lean, tough uh, animals that you know plow the the earth and all that kind of stuff. They're not raised for consumption or milk, so um, it's not eaten as much as pork over there is. Um, but uh, I'd say uh, seafood would be the number one because it's right beside the ocean, and pork would be the number two. Um, protein that they would consume over there um, and chicken uh, chicken and duck are also staples but the chicken over there is much different also they have a different varieties of chicken um, that I've learned over the years <laughs> um, there's um, the one that they consume or it's, it's, a, it's a lot um, uh, tougher consistency a little chewier because they let them, uh, they're like basically free range. They'll run around and do whatever and not really penned up uh, as in North America. So they they get their exercises so that their meat is, just gets tough and, and it's- They get uh, more chewy. muscle, hey? <laughs> from running. They get more muscle from running. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so how about how about uh, vegetables? So tonight, I mean, uh, just comparing to in general North American cuisine, the pickled leeks leeks uh, was a kind of a new vegetable, probably for people might not might not be using them as often. The the bitter melon, of course, is an interesting uh, ingredient. What are other types of vegetables uh, that you use? Ooh, uh, uh, my mom's gonna handle that question. I, I'm <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, you mentioned about lake. Uh, is that right? Because I don't hear very well. <laughs> no, I was just asking about the, the vegetables you use. So what, which kind of vegetables, um, you know, not just for tonight, but in your cooking, what type of vegetables do you normally use now? Um, May, because a uh, tropical country, we have all kind of uh, vegetable, just like um, like Western people have a vegetable, but uh, uh, like cabbage, uh, different kind of cabbage, red, green, and soft and uh, harder, different uh, cabbage, um, and also we use most of the uh, the mustard cream uh, for cooking or uh, it's fresh like salad and um, uh, we we still have uh, uh, pumpkin but uh, back there pumpkin it's uh, tastier than the pumpkin in here 
it in here it baked but doesn't have taste and you have to uh, in in China they make the pumpkin pie they add a lot of people back home we use the pumpkin uh, for the dessert uh, uh, just like uh, and steam it's smaller we, uh, you see in the market that hey, you have the uh, the green uh, Japanese uh, uh, squad uh, back home we you have the green the yellow one and uh, it uh, maybe yeah, from the soy so it uh, it um, it have a stronger flavor but in in Canada maybe the soy is uh, different so uh, the the taste not strong like um, like in in tropical country so uh, they can uh, they can use the the, um, the pumpkin or yellow squat there they can uh, make puri into make it into the the twin too and they think that's an, it's healthy if you don't have time to cook to you can uh, make uh, like uh, puri or make juice from the pumpkin the fresh pumpkin to drink um, so one one other thing one other thing i observed tonight nan uh the the pork belly of course uh, that itself had fat but the way you cook tonight you didn't even use any oil almost tonight right um, no uh, some people they uh, they do fry uh, uh the pork first but for me because i don't like uh, uh, oil or, or fat if i see outside i don't use it that's one i use uh, just like very simple thing but uh, i think it uh, people say it's healthier but healthier depend on how much you consume it in your body so i don't use extra or oh, <laughs> we have a dog to run out <laughs> that's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody's I think crazy. he's smelling the good food, hey? Yes, there you go. He wants some of that pork belly. <laughs> he is finally ran away. Yeah. Uh, so I cook uh, with uh, 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 coconut water and uh, uh, if uh, right now I cook with coconut water and caramel, make it a little sweet uh, balance the taste. Not too sweet, not too salty. So, uh, for the one uh, one pound of uh, of meat, I can I just use five tablespoon of uh, thick salt. And uh, if uh, it's uh, before a long time ago, just like how many years? Only ninety nine cent a coconut. Now it's four dollar three ninety nine for oh, one wow. coconut. So 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 expensive. Maybe I blame on Dr. R. Because <laughs> Dr. R usually like healthy fat in coconut and healthy drink in coconut water. That's what it increased from one dollar to four dollars. It became too popular. <laughs> and uh, Nan, also going back, um, so uh, you know the sticky rice one, uh, the sticky rice cake. So that's pretty much dessert. How how are desserts? What kind of desserts do you have uh, in Vietnamese cuisine? Uh, the sticky uh, um, sticky rice we call glutinous <laughs> rice, and uh, we can cook with uh, any kind of uh, root vegetable like taro root or potato or cassava mm -hmm. or banana. So banana for cooking in Vietnam, we call plantain. It's shorter and not a very firmer texture than, uh, than the banana, the, the long banana, we call plantain. And uh, I think African, uh, most, I think most of the, the, the tropical country, we have plantain, the short one, the long one for cooking, we can cook at the, the green one, or we can cook when it ripe. Mm -hmm. So coconut, another kind, just like uh, Vietnamese uh, uh, cheese or butter. Uh, we use coconut a lot for dessert or for um, uh, uh, for the the savory uh, uh, dish. 
you can cook uh, coconut uh, coconut coconut milk uh, with the curry. Oh, we <laughs> he want to bring all the 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 candy for New Year. Yeah, this is a a, a, candy, a candy tray. Uh -huh. um, so we have uh, in the middle here in the center is uh, coconut. coconut strips that have been discolored with food coloring but uh, dried so it's a little bit chewy and sweet and then we have this one potato. is potato sweet potato yeah sweet potato candy yeah. they cook with and this one sesame seed and uh, and peanut uh, candy it's soft texture and this one okay look like lotus uh, root candy too and then lotus seed candy mm -hmm. and this, this one it uh, we call sour shop we make candy and the Vietnamese language it uh, 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 it we call mang cầu that means the dream come true so everybody want to have that and what you wish it will come true okay so that must be the popular candy <laughs> yeah. and this Similar to this one, but it's bigger. To make the candy, they use a the bigger one. This one, this the offspring of that one from, uh, I think from uh, the, uh, Mexico or something like that. And this one, ginger, uh, ginger candy. Okay. Uh, uh, this one, gooseberry. Gooseberry, and, okay. Yeah. And this one, the white one, is uh, melon. The melon we cook uh, for soup, and people believe that's one we do when you uh, have the um, the body heat, not the the, the uh, not the fever, but uh, you feel dry in your your body. We can make soup, and also we can make candy too. So all the sweet stuff in here. So you, if you have have this one, you. Always wish you sweet all year round. Wonderful, wonderful. And it looks healthy too. It's like made from fruits and uh, dried fruits and candied fruits. So looks very healthy. Uh, from the, the root, from the seed too. And there are many, many things we can uh, just like, we want to have a best which are the, um, uh, um, keep our spirit alive. So that's when we make a lot of uh, when back in the country and uh, the um, just like you make pudding with the sticky rice, like you make a pudding in here. You you can make uh, black eye bean pudding, uh, red uh, pudding, red with uh, cassava. We also make uh, cassava, or we like to in the New Year on the uh, in the event we put different color, just like um, cassava, um, cut into small chunk mm -hmm. and uh, cook in coconut water, sugar, um, also coconut milk too, um, like uh, different color of the vegetable or the. Uh, uh, of the the root vegetable too. So you, when you have a, a pudding, you have many color in there. Mm -hmm. It makes the children look, uh, they want to eat and it look bright uh, in front of you. So um, you talked about your childhood and your father, the tea, you know, the drinking tea, a poetry with his friends, etc. Going back to your childhood or what you can eat here, are there things um, that you can't find in Canada? Are there things that you're missing? Are there tastes that you remember that have been different? Are there ingredients that are different that you can't find here in Canada? Uh, at this the light. Um, uh, like mountain custard, I love that one. Uh, the white one, the big piece, it's sour. They make the candy. I love that one. Um, uh, but uh, so expensive in here. It's fourteen dollar a pound. Oh wow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, 
I, I don't want to eat. I wait for uh, when I go back to Vietnam. Uh, I will eat all their fresh food and I don't have allergy. Uh, in here, if I, I eat um, mango, uh, I have an uh, itchy throat. Uh -huh. so, but when I was in Jamaica or Vietnam, I eat the outside, the skin too. It doesn't happen. I, feel, I enjoy it. I don't have the itchy throat. Okay. Uh, with the mango right here. And uh, uh, I miss the most of the envirom environment and atmosphere. Uh, the things like lotus pond uh, and pick uh, up the, any flower uh, and I grow up, no, I spend not, I mean, I live in the city, but uh, uh, I, uh, I spend more time with my grandparents, uh, with the cousin in the, um, in the farm. Mm -hmm. So I miss that and I miss the crab, the, the country, the, the small purple one that makes soup. But in here, when I buy, uh, when I bought the, the frozen one, it doesn't have the taste at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so the the, the environment it uh, it make me miss the Vietnam. I see. People they are friendly and uh, we we say hello, uh, reach each other. Uh, the neighbor, the next, the next door neighbor, but in here we feel like, oh, we, it's difficult to, uh, to see the people around because the, the climate and the tide, they work. And uh, so they work, they don't, we don't have time. Some, we have to leave a home early for work. And by the time we get home, it's dark and nobody outside. Uh -huh. <laughs> we don't say hello. But, uh, right now we, we we use phone a lot, but we don't. Uh, with thankfully with the uh, the face FaceTime, so we can see each other. But very different. But uh, not the real people, not the real thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but part of it, part of it, I think I I feel, I understand what you're saying. Part of it is also uh, changing times. One of the, uh, I mean, I can tell, uh, relate from my culture where um, a lot of the women, uh, you know, when I was growing up in Turkey, they weren't working. So they had, they had a lot more time in their hands to be social. Uh, here, uh, a lot of us are working, as you're saying, uh, you know, leaving early in the morning, coming back late, etc. cetera. So, uh, but things might be cha changing back in our home countries too, hey? with more women working, more grandparents working. Yeah, I, I think that's one because the, the, the society grow too fast, even in Vietnam too. Uh, I want to just like to, to keep the, uh, the working time, it's shorter. When I came here, we have Sunday, holy, uh, Sunday off at home, no market, uh, no big uh, company open. Only some Chinese uh, grocery when I came in early 19. Uh, Sunday, people doesn't work. They can have time to go to church or temple. But uh, right now, uh, people, the family, it is society grow too fast. So the family, all the promotion, marketing, make people spend, spend money. So the, the family, they feel like they're short in money and they don't have, they have to buy something for the children. Uh, I think most of the parents, uh, they want to, to, to give their children all uh, they have. They don't, um, so material thing, they can fulfill for their children, but the emotional, the, the bonding, uh, between parent, her, between husband, parent, it uh, decreases very much. Uh, but I see in here sometimes because the, the marketing, the promotion uh, for the consumer, they, they work and they spend money and they don't spend time with uh, the, the family member. Sometimes the husband work, uh, 
daytime the woman uh, the, the mother work night time they have very short hour uh, they don't share their true feeling or they communicate each other just only when they get home uh, can uh, you finish that one or you um, uh, you do that thing or so they they don't share their true feeling they worry about things have to be done and with the children, uh, they don't learn much of the language. I'm, I feel proud because uh, uh, Nari still speak Vietnamese uh, uh, with the family and they can talk, they, she's shy. She doesn't want to, to talk uh, in front of the camera, but I hope just like, uh, today, uh, we have opportunity to share our uh, traditional celebration and share the feeling, the true feeling. This I wish in the family, uh, we will uh, have time uh, this year, three days, to, uh, to talk, to enjoy the food we make. And the important thing just like, to show my younger uh, generation about the richness of our culture uh, and from, from home uh, to all the people around here, to Canada, to, especially in Edmonton. And I work with the multicultural health broker and with the interculture center, it's the opportunity for us to share the happiness, the richness of uh, each culture, especially Vietnamese culture. So I hope my uh, third generation will carry out all traditional, the, the best to the society. Well, it's been it's been wonderful, Nana. We re truly appreciate it, and uh, you know the timing couldn't be more perfect. You shared a very special time of the year with us, and we do realize back in Vietnam there it's already New Year. They're already celebrating. Hey, uh, yeah. uh, they spend uh, New Year at uh, uh, midnight there uh, when uh, we were we are here at ten o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. So our, our viewers are also thanking you for inviting us into your home. Uh, the food looks great. So I don't want to keep you too much, uh, I mean, uh, away from the food for too long. Uh, maybe we will finish uh, early tonight so you guys can sit down and actually enjoy the New Year dinner because this is the L L Lunar New Year. We really appreciate it. And uh, to everyone that's uh, watching online, uh, you know, the Zoom is the ne next best thing, but hopefully once the pandemic is over and we can all be safe, uh, we can repeat some of these uh, cooking nights, uh, maybe at the EIC with our kitchen and share it with our neighbors and community members and, and share our cultures with each other. So if we invite you, I'm sure you'll come and uh, cook for us again, Nan. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Uh, we wish yeah, all of you Happy New Year and um, Happy New Year uh, yes. and good health and uh, keep in touch. We will. Thank you. And I will. I will. Uh, last time we had trouble with our video, but I will uh, record. I mean, the video has been recorded. We will post this video on our YouTube channel, too, so others can uh, learn about the recipes. This was wonderful. I'm going to try these this weekend, actually. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you. Have a great night, Nan. Uh, everybody's thanking you. Happy Lunar New Year to everyone. And uh, we'll see you in future events. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye. We end. Okay, I'm going to leave the meeting.